I don't even know what time it is. Okay, afternoon. Um, we are here at the Billabong Pipe Masters. Um, it is finals day today, and we got on here a little bit late. Um, that's fine, it's still going on. It's gonna go on all day. Um, and then it took us forever to find parking. We went up and down and up and down the road, but thank God we finally found parking. So we're gonna start walk walking towards the competition now. Realizing that you accomplished 
an amazing drink. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling incredible right now. I, mean, I was just looking at the names that have won the Triple Crown and just all the names on there are insane. And to win after John John won last year. And, um, so, I don't know, it's been a really fun day watching the contest and seeing all the action. Um, just really excited for next year. And, John, congratulations for winning the world title. So stoked for you. And Jeremy winning the Pipe Masters two times now. That's insane. Um, yeah, thanks so much. I'm going to make it extra special, Griffin, that Chloe and Dino has been kind of a mentor to you. was right behind you on the rankings coming into Pipe Play. Uh, yeah, I saw I beat him by 12 points. So <laughs> I'm a little bit bummed about that, but I'm happy. So, yeah. <laughs> Once again, Griffin Cole Pinto, your champion. <laughs> Griffin Cole Pinto, you can just kind of move over here on stage as this celebration continues. Exciting, coming into the final event of the season with a lot going on on finals day for re-qualification when you think about that, but also with the world title race going down to someone who grew up right here on the North Shore of Oahu. A lot of emotions heading into the final with a lot to celebrate before and still after. I'd like to introduce your runner-up of the Pipe Masters, John John Flores. <laughs> it's been a massive day for you, John. First of all, congratulations on a dreamy day. We'll get into all the good stuff very soon. Thank you, Axel. A beautiful trophy here with artwork by Phil Roberts to add to your collection. This wave, obviously, your favorite wave when you compare it to everywhere around the world. And this final probably felt a whole lot different because a couple of heats before you placed the world title. How did you feel about that final heat with Jeremy Flores and really just this whole day that we're looking back? Uh, these last couple of days have been a lot of pressure and um, it's been nerve wracking. I was just talking to Jeremy about it. He was talking about re qualifying yesterday and coming in today and we've had a Jeremy got a day twice now in a row. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just been nerve wracking, but I'm so happy to be sitting here at home to won the title in front of my family and friends. And, uh, my mom was in the culture last year, so I was happy to be here this year. Uh, yeah, it's been amazing. Unbelievable, John. You got on a rhythm, which was really cool to see, especially in the semifinal after the world title celebration, to get that eight-plus ride under pressure to go bad. Four straight completions against Jeremy. It looked like you found that magical ry rhythm on your home court. Yeah, I found a good rhythm. Um, today was just all about who got the waves, really. It was kind of slow in between. And when they did come there, it's anyways. Um, I definitely wasn't kind of Jeremy that close at the very end of that video. I saw it all the way from I was just like, oh. <laughs> But it was a really fun beat, and it was a good battle. It's, it's nice to have a good battle like that. John will be talking to you a lot throughout this presentation. So one more time for John John Florence. Your runner up here in the <laughs> Second appearance here in the final. Now thinking about a guy that's worked hard over the years. Just loving surfing, big barreling conditions. A guy that's won a choke with Tahiti. A guy that's won this event back in 2010 over Kieran. Long time ago now, but back in the final once again to call himself a two-time champion of the Billabong Pipe Masters, I'd like to introduce Jeremy Flores. A guy that took over the Rookie of the Year honor over a decade ago. Wears his heart on his sleeve. Yes, the land from Lindsay and also Axel. Unbelievable, Jeremy. Standing alongside you here on the podium once again. Hold that thing up. We know how much you put into this. We know how much you love perfect waves. We know you come in with blood, sweat, and tears and leave it all on the line. Today, Jeremy, you beat number two and number one in the world. How does that make you feel? To be honest, it, uh, I, I don't like to be that guy. I don't like to be deciding titles and, and all that. It should be a showdown between John and Gabriel. Uh, these guys are these guys are next level. Congrats to John John for the world title and Gabriel Medina for being a 
amazing. Um, what an exciting finish. 
um, and great accomplishment by Jeremy. I mean, he's finished literally in the last second of the year and can't be finished for the event, so congratulations to you. Griffin, we can't wait to have you on board full time end of the year. Um, and finally, John John, to retain your title, everyone always says it's set up for almost the second time. But certainly handled the pressure amazingly well. People kept coming back at you and uh, you took it to a whole other level. So congratulations. Amazing accomplishment. I'd also uh, like to thank all the support that we get here. Our sponsors, Billabong, the band's Triple Crown, everyone involved with it. It's been an amazing few weeks to be able to spend December. Our servers love coming here. So we really appreciate all your support and can't wait to see you again in the future. Thanks again. Thank you so much. Sophie Belcher, our CEO of the World Surf League. What a title race has been. It came down to the wire. Four contenders left from Julian Wilson, Jordy Smith, and coming down to the wire for Gabriel Medina. Give those guys a big round of applause because they're sweet. was nothing short of incredible and also the dramatic comeback of Owen Wright winning the opening event of the season at Snapper Rocks. Now let's get right to it. I'd like to introduce now your two-time world champion in 2017, Hawaii's own John John Florence. One of the most dominant performances we've seen through the Australian leg. Margaret River is still going to stand the test of time, but a lot happened since then. What are you most proud of during the challenging moments of really trying to end up number one in the world once again? Um, it's probably during the most challenging moments around. I, I think that I learned a lot about myself this year and competing with all the pressure and stuff, and especially coming off last year's win. Um, yeah, I had some ups and some downs. And but mostly I just had a lot of fun. I think that's what I came out of last year. It was like, okay, I'm only going to this year and really, really enjoy like, every moment of it. And um, so yeah, when I came, when I was coming to the pipe, I was like, oh, it's really a pipe. I'm waiting. Um, and then there's roller pressure Gabe. He's such an amazing surfer, um, fierce competitor. And you know, his comeback in Europe was amazing. He won two events in a row and then was right down the title list. Um, and then certainly here's my here's when he's putting your back in. It would have been cool if it was like a final for the title level at the time. But I couldn't have done it with uh, Alex and the rest. I don't want you guys to try to be grand on the whole thing. And Ross Williams, you guys have been huge help this year. It's been a lot of fun to have you guys. It's been amazing. Um, and um, where's my mom? <laughs> I had to thank all this to my mom because she took me out of those traveling around the world here again. Really just got us to love the ocean. I think that's what we're all in this for. It's just about the surfing. So thank you, Mom. I wouldn't be here without you. So much support for you here at home. And I guess the biggest difference, John, clinching in Portugal in your first world title, and then the idea of clinching here at Pipeline was kind of seemed like the dream scenario. Kind of how you said you envisioned maybe winning a world title one day. Well, now that you've done it, how does it feel looking back? of what you're feeling like to the media leading up into the, the final showdown. Yeah, uh, my decision to pull out of Sunset was hard for me because it's right here at home, it's triple crown, it's something I've watched my whole life. Um, but I knew that my ultimate goal is like the world title. Uh, 
I just want to throw all my focus and energy in that. I have such a good team around and supporting me. Kind of all my decisions I made. Like, Steve Johnson, Michael Curry, he has been a huge help in all this. Especially for those moments. It's pretty hard. It's like, oh, should I do something? Or I kind of feel like I want to get all my stuff together and really focus on it. Not a whole lot of world chance to achieve back-to-back -back titles, so you've accomplished that. Do you realize that you're already in a position to tie Andy Irons, to tie Nick Fanning, to potentially tie Tom Curran next year if you do it again? Um, yeah, that's a crazy thought, but that's a long time away. But I, I think I learned while I was here and then take all that and put it in the next year and hopefully win again. So I'm really enjoying it right now, enjoying, this, enjoying competing and um, it's been a lot of fun. Once again, congratulations to John John Florence.